Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to install Magento with Installatron. And Installatron makes it so, so easy for you I to install I love Installatron. Magento. Unbelievably easy. This is so much easier than trying to do it manually and even compared to other tools such as Plesk. For example, well, like I said, manually is like the worst way, or the hardest way, should I say. And even Plesk isn't that straightforward. When, as you're about to find with Installatron, so easy to do. So with that said, let's go and do this and follow us along with your system. So the first thing you'll need to do is to log in to your cPanel. Now that will vary depending upon your host details. If you're unsure at any point in time, please just contact your web hosting provider or check your emails because they will have emailed you some login details for cPanel if that is a supported administration tool with your hosting package. We're guessing it is and that's how you found us. So let's go and do this. So in the find box on the left hand side, you need to type in stool like so, and Dave, down here, can you say Installatron, Applications Installer? I can indeed. Click on that button, and now into Install Magento is so simple to do. If you click on Application Browser at the top, and then up here at the top in the search box, type in Magento, and then press Enter on your keyboard, and then click on Install This Application. And it's from this page where you can set your basic details. So you want to choose your domain name. So in our case, we're gonna use one of our guide domains. So wherever guides.understanding is in this list, there it is. So you want to choose your domain name. Now, typically you'll not want to enter a directory. We are gonna be adding a directory for this tutorial. In fact, we're gonna type test in there, but in your case, it's highly unlikely that you'll want to put anything in there at all. So we're only putting that in there for the purposes of this tutorial, but you'll want to keep directory blank. And now let me just make the point. So if guides.understandinge.com was your domain name, then you would leave that blank. But in our case, we're just gonna add test on the end because we've already got Magento installed in our main folder. If you then scroll down, you'll want to choose the latest or the most recommended version, which is available for Magento. You can also select to include the Magento demo content. Now, a personal suggestion for both myself and Dave is that not to install the demo content. And the reason being is that you'll spend forever trying to delete all the demo content out afterwards. Okay, but if it's your first time using Magento, go for the demo content. You can always delete this install and then create another one. And again, as you'll go back to find out in a few moments, you just like click the button at the bottom and you're away. So we would strongly suggest using the option which says, give me a clean Magento install. I'll add my own content. You'll want to just leave the other options as default. And if we scroll on down, the next important section is to do with your administrator username and password. So what we would suggest is prefix in your username. So with Magento and then underscore name. My name's Matt, so I'm gonna do Magento underscore Matt. And of course, if you were called Dave, like who's with us right now, you would type in Magento underscore Dave. Okay, just the extra level of security. Now you can show the password. And again, you'll want to copy these details down and store them safely somewhere. So using a tool like LastPass or putting them somewhere where it's secure. And you can also regenerate a new password. You'll also want to make sure that your email address is valid just in case you do forget your password. You can get it reset and sent to you. You'll also want to update your website title. So my e-commerce is not probably the best title for your website. This is where if you are selling remote control cars, for example, you and it's called RC Heaven. In fact, I'm going to type that in there. RC Heaven. Then that's the name you would type in the website title. And then you'll also want to note down your encoding key. Okay, you'll probably never need this, but do take a copy of that key, right click, copy, and store that somewhere safe as well. And Dave, that's the hardest bits we've done. <laughs> Those settings are tricky ones and not very tricky at all. Yeah, just going to recap your location. 99% of the time, you want your directory to be blank. You'll want the latest version. So our version is 1.9.2.1. If you've got a higher version, that's okay. We also suggest give me a clean Magento install, mainly because we're assuming you don't want all the demo content and you don't want to go back through and try and delete it all afterwards. 
You'll also want to set a username. We strongly suggest prefixing your username with Magento underscore and then your name makes it a little bit more secure. Remember to copy your password and make sure your email address is correct. Name your website and of course you can change these settings later on if you want to. Make a copy of your encoding key and then click on install at the bottom. Now it will pop up processing and we'll get redirected in a few moments time and you'll be able to see the progress of Magento being installed on your website. Now it will take a few moments to go through and I'm just scrolling down the list here and we can see RC Heaven. Did I spell Heaven wrong in there Dave? Yes you did, that's Heaven. <laughs> Heaven quality and of course we'll look at some basic settings for Magento just so we don't leave you just to get in the Magento installed and don't forget we've got lots and lots of other tutorials on Magento ready for you on YouTube or over on understandedy.com. Now Dave that was Magento installed. Now we've got two links here which we're interested in the first one so if I right click and open that in a new tab is the front end of our website. So it doesn't look very exciting right now because we don't have any products in our Magento website. We've also got a second link and this is the most important one for you which is the admin link and you'll see that it ends in admin. So you'll want to go to that tab and this is where you'll want to enter your username and your password and then click login. Now Dave, that's where I'm gonna stop right now. I think that's probably enough for us to cover to get Magento set up with Installatron as we've seen, it's really easy to do with Installatron, of course, making clones or backups or lots of other features with Installatron. Installatron makes our life, your life, a lot, lot easier on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios.